Hello everyone, I'm Sadia Alam and in this video I will try to show the basic concepts of rate of change. So first of all we need to know what is rate of change. Suppose you have a cylindrical flask and you are pouring some water. Initially the water was at a depth of 5 cm. Uh, it's pretty much obvious since you are pouring some water the water level will increase with time. So if I say the rate of increase of water is 2 cm per second it means uh, with every second the water will increase by 2 so after 1 second the water level will be 7 and then 9 so rate of increase just basically gives you the amount by which the height will increase every second it has to be per second it can be per second per minute per hour that is one hour one minute it has to be something uh, unit time okay so the flask can be an inverted cone shaped conical flask so whatever the shape is uh, the rate of increase means you have to differentiate uh, the equation for example rate of increase of height you can write dh by dt equals to 2 centimeter per second so it means you need to have a clear concept of differentiation so suppose i am giving a basic example suppose y equals to uh, 3x to the power uh, 5 so if we differentiate this it becomes dy by dx so for differentiation we need to understand that we will differentiate only the x term since i have uh, written here dy by dx that is differentiation has to be with respect to x so the number here has no uh, nothing to do with differentiation it will stay there so the power will come here and we need to deduct 1 so it becomes uh, multiply this two. so this is your differentiation so in this rate of change things uh, suppose uh, you have a map of circle so the area formula is pi r squared so here y is the subject of the equation similarly area is the subject of the equation so we can treat area as y and the radius as x and pi is just a simple constant so we can treat that as a number so if i differentiate this it becomes da by dr so pi will stay there so differentiation of r square is what 2 r so the answer becomes 2 pi r okay suppose uh, here is a map of um, circle shaped ink blot suppose you have a small circle and the ink is spreading and so the radius will increase and along with that the area will increase too so uh, suppose this math is about circle okay so if uh, the question is uh, the rate at which area is increasing is two centimeter per second it means since it is about area the given e equation is dA by dt that is uh, 2 centimeters square per second even if you do not understand the whole thing you can um, just look at the unit since it's centimeters square per second so it has to be area so dA by dt is given and we need to find the rate at which radius is increasing that is we need the value of dr by dt so a lot of people just memorize formulas for finding all this thing but it's difficult because uh, there are a lot of parameters volume area radius height so how many formulas are you gonna mem memorize you're gonna memorize so it's better to derive the formula so uh, I would say just uh, follow the simple steps uh, whatever you get just follow the simple steps suppose dr by dt so you need two terms here so the numerator dr will go here and the dt do not write it here dt should go to the second term denominator of the second term so after writing these two terms uh, you need to fill up this two space right so just find out what do you know above dt we know dt uh, with respect to area that is this portion and this portion has to be filled by area so if you look at the two terms this is dr by dt and da by dt if we cancel out da by da 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 the left side of the equation and the right side equation is equal uh, dr by dt 
so you do not need to can cancel it out i'm just saying that if we multiply these two terms you will get dr by dt so among these two terms da by dt you know the value of da by dt which is 2 but you do not know this one so since it is a matter of a mass of um, a circle the area of circle is pi r square so if we differentiate this da by dr pi will stay there r square will become 2 r so the differentiation is 2 pi r so this is your value of da by dr but we need dr by da that is it's the opposite so we need to take the reciprocal so 2 pi r will become 1 by 2 pi r so if we cancel out 2 it becomes pi r so uh, in this case radius is 0 0.5 so pi 0 0.5 so the answer becomes 1 by 0 0.5 into pi so 0 0.637 centimeter per second remember the value of r the given value of r should be used at the end of the map if you uh, put the value of r here before differentiation you won't be able to solve the maps the differentiation will become zero whatever the value they uh, they uh, um, provide you use that only at the end of the maps and another thing uh, this is uh, not your uh, extra uh, this is not your rough work you do not need to cancel them out this is also a part of the maths you can uh, write in this exact way I have written here just draw a line and do the things you need the values of and then put the uh, substitute the values here and uh, for the unit since it is dr by dt uh, so you need centimeter here but if you're gonna find dv by dt use centimeter cube per second it's not fixed that it has to be centimeter since the area was given in centimeter i'm using centimeter if they had given meter square per second i would have used meter per second